Hello, 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 and welcome back to Taking Back Our Streets, a beginner's guide for Night of the Dead. So we are at hour four. I've spent the last couple of hours. Um, we got some more animals and I was picking up a few bags. I cleaned up a few. Th I love to putter around. So I got rid of a few more trees. I cut down a bunch of bushes. I picked up some rocks, like dismantled some um, over in the intersection over there to the that direction. <laughs> there were like five or six of those orange traffic divider things or directional things. And I took those apart. And uh, so I have a few more plastic now, which is nice. And um, yeah, I've just been puttering around because that's what I love to do. But I would like to upgrade our base. So, uh, no, we don't need wood for that. We need buckets of cement. So we need limestone. We need bricks. We're going to need regular stone to make bricks. And I don't know if we need small stones or not, so I'm going to grab some of those. We are actually going to need a few branches. So let's go over here. And we go to the stone section. And to make cement, you need limestone. And it's the only thing you use the limestone for, so you can just make all of it. It's the only way to use it. And then for bricks, we need stones and branches. And we need a bunch of those. You need like six for each one. So let's just do like... And we'll just do 51 why not okay we'll use them and the thing is is that if we make too many we can always go here and go to the bricks and take it apart and get one stone back now you don't get everything back you don't get back your branch but you at least get your stone back um oh and i think we needed nails so let's make sure we grab some nails now you'll notice that i in this box this is my metal box and um i keep all my metals in it like you know but i also like to keep a lot of the time my electrical things like fuses and um i call them spark plugs that's what it looks like to me and uh the plugs and anything i make like that these little electronic devices extra things of those types i like to keep in there i should actually keep these bars in my uh bike because eventually we will go oops nope that's not what i wanted to do we will go to another place on the map and there'll be bank there <laughs> we don't have a bank in first city so we don't really need it. Um, oh, I wanted to tell you one more thing, actually. We can make another space in our bag because right now we're carrying around both the hammer and the wrench. And our wrench replaces our hammer. So we don't need this hammer anymore. So I'm going to put it in this box. There. That's one more space. Um, yeah. And everything else we have in here, we want. I also put the uh, handgun inside of the bike with the ammo so that um, if anything ever happens and you die <laughs> you can't always get to your bag because there's zombies camping it so to have a little bit of extra stuff like a machete or a handgun inside of your um, bike or even in a box next to your sleeping bag is a really smart idea okay so coming on up here remember we need to upgrade our base because today is day four but that means that at midnight when the horde starts it'll be night five which is also horde five and we need to make sure that our base on horde five night five um, which is really morning five um, is uh, stone so we need our wrench and we need to repair it oh we need branches be right back okay wrench so repair with a branch and then upgrade and so we need six bricks and one cement and two nails for each one so let's upgrade we may have to repair all of these and then we can upgrade it you should be able to do that with whatever button it is i just changed my keybinds so i need to do this they told me um when i asked about it because i was like mine's not working <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, yeah, you're going to have to do that until we, until we fix it later on. But it's not their highest priority. I mean, they're still redoing the, they're doing the whole second half of the game. So, you know, I don't expect them to fix something little like that for people like me who, I just like being able to hit E to loot and then F to loot all. So for me, um, that being able to hit, you know, F twice in a row just to upgrade is, is not something I need to be able to do. It's not a priority, you know? If it was that big of a deal, I'd change it back to like a letter G or something. And I wouldn't have to worry about it. But 
I am uh, kind of, oops, we're running out of books, bricks. So we need two for this one. We need six and six and six. So 18, we need 20 more bricks. All right, right back. We also need to make sure we get our airdrop before 9 a.m. Okay, wrench upgrade. So the zombies really have done minimal damage on these like 98 percent it's just so so little so we don't have to really worry about it like i'm not upgrading them because of the damage they do i just don't want them to get lit on fire all right and i'm also going to do this because when they explode right here getting compressed they will also <laughs> light this on fire so they will however traps are immune but what's not immune are level one storage boxes those will burn so make sure and i put one out here because in here i have our extra ballista boats a machete in case i can't get my bag back and have a weapon and some more cells or the cells and then i'll grab them you know for horde night when i need them anyway i need to upgrade this but i for this i need two rubber four plates and an iron ingot so i'll be right back Okay, and here we are. Upgrade and upgrade. So now we don't have to worry about that burning. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Perfect. Okay, then. All right, it is a glorious morning, and we have a few things to do. But first, I want to go... Um, I noticed when I was watching back my videos that I left something very important in the school. Nobody pointed it out in the comments, so nobody remembered or noticed. Uh, I noticed. I was like, oh my gosh. I killed the student up on those bleachers. And I don't think I ever picked up his backpack. So we are going in to find out. And we'll clean out this area as well. But first, I want to go and see if my books are here. Oh, I hear zombies. I should not hear zombies. Killed it somewhere over here. Didn't I? No, I lost it. It disappeared. Sad face. Maybe I picked it up and just don't remember, but I don't think so. Ugh, that is gut-wrenching. There were books in there that I wanted. Anyway. Oh well, sometimes that happens, I guess. <laughs> it's never happened to me, but <laughs> uh, it sucks. All right, let's see. We are going to clean this up real quick because we can do that. Fuel is good. Oops, wrong button. F, break. I love mornings in this game. It's just so peaceful. Birds are chirping. I'm hacking away at plastic. No birds whatsoever when I stop. That's nice. That's nice. Thanks, game. Oh, there they were. I was going to say, make me a liar. these just make it look nice okay and our rabbit's knife is getting dull but I can still one hit bushes so all right let's go do our you know what that looks quite a ways away so I'm gonna go back to the house and get our bike I'll be right back okay I'm on my way to the airdrop but this is for Jim Frost. <laughs> he wanted me to tell everybody to make sure that you uh, find the research data in these because they have like 11 in each one, which is really great. Okay. So um, I don't know if you break it if you get more. Let's see. Probably not. Probably just metals and plastics. Pieces of iron. Yep. Um, so just wanted to make sure I told everybody that. Okay, I'll bring you back when I get there. I lied. I'm bringing you back now because look how the roads, I cleared out a whole bunch of this stuff. It's so nice to be able to drive down the roads. 
Now, I left this white car and this white car because this tells me on the way back where to turn for the right um, hospital thing. Okay. We still have to clean out this area, but I'm going to go get the airdrop. In case it decides to leave early, you just never know. I mean, I don't know. I don't 100% trust things. You know what I'm saying? And there's tons to clean out, which we will. It's over this way. Okay. Oop, I wanted those resources. I gotta stop doing that. Let's kill a few zombies. Hello. Oh, we need to uh, heal this. I deserve that because I wasn't ready. Oop. <laughs> uh. Not nice. Just saying. All right, let's go down here and see what's shaking. I don't think we had heavies last time, did we? Let's see if we do this time. Like, when you play on the higher levels, it is tough to do these. You get multiple heavies. Hello, jumper. Oh, we do have a heavy. We have a uh, explosive crawler. Run! <laughs> okay. He gave us a pickaxe. I don't care about that. All right. Hello, jumper. You know, this guy, this jumper, used to be, or is similar to, actually, I think it used to be, they, there used to be a zombie that used to look like they were wearing tidy whitey underwear. It was so great, and I loved him so much. I called him Tidy Whitey because that's what he looked like he was wearing. And uh, now it doesn't have it on there anymore, so I'm very sad because I think that was a really great, you know, zombie to have in the game. I mean, come on. You know if zombies start getting made, there's going to be some people who are in their underwear. I mean, seriously, not all of us are going to be able to put on clothes. All right, let's see what we get. Ooh, we got a Devastation and a Nutcracker. Oh, I love having a devastation. So the good thing about a devastation is if you look down there in the red writing, it says rubber resin amount upon tree destruction, 56%. So we get 56% more rubber resin than we did we do with a normal axe. So that's really great. We get 27.1 and a gold bar. This is a really good drop. Three. Oh, we already have one that's four. <clears throat> so, but... We have four lightning and two ignition. What's on this one? Uh, that one's still got better coils. So, yeah. All right. We're going to take all. Perfect. All right. Wait, where's my bike? I already lost it. Oh, you can also break these. Who had no, I had no idea. Let's see what we get from these. We're going to have to wait a second because it's still reading all the stuff that we picked up. Iron plates. Nice. We love iron plates. Because remember, even if you have like two stacks of iron plates, you're not stuck with iron plates. You can dismantle those down into iron bars. So that's really great. Now we play the game of where did I leave my bike? Is that it up there? I think that's it up there. Huh. Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. Whoop, zombies. Let's go clear it out. Hello, miss? Miss? Can we have a word with you? Thanks so much. Just a quick word. Do you hear that? I thought I thought it was going to be a, like a zombie howl, but it just kept going. It was like a and it just kept going. It's really weird. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. That's very strange. Normally, you only hear the wolves howl when you're going to, when they're going to attack you, chase you. Yeah, there it is again. Either that or I'm going crazy. That could be it, too. Okay, so that noise is a drill. They're doing construction <laughs> in the flat. Not the flat, yeah, the flat near us. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, that's what that is. I'm an idiot. Well, it's not really a flat it's a house, but it's a maisonette. Okay. 
clearing up the streets. I love it. Now, how far down here do I want to run? Probably not very. But I will get this. Okay. So, I'm going to take you back to base and I'm going to teach you how to combine equipment. And I'll bring you back when I get there. Okay. Combining equipment. Now, um, when you hit the sort button, it sorts them, of course, by the type of uh, equipment that it is. But that's not the way we want it sorted right now. And I don't know of another way to sort it. Notice on these that we have tier two in the upper right hand corner. There are tier two things and then there are tier one things. I shouldn't have anything that's tier three. I will separate it out of course if I do. I'm going to, I took all of the equipment that I had in my two box chests that I was saving up. I'm going to now separate this between tier twos at the tops and tier ones and I'll be back. Okay. So that took a bit of time. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest you do this all at once like I am, but I just want to do it for illustrative purposes. So um, you can just grab your top equipment. I'm going to do the tier ones as well, just to show you um, that you don't really get much, but you might get some tier twos, and then I'll put together my tier twos. Now, um, it's important also, I've been told, that you separate out your gold or your rares from your superior's um, because you want to put as many of the rares together as you can and um, same with the blues so that you get better equipment. If you mix them together, then um, it doesn't work as well. So you come over here to this equipment bench and you go to this little symbol where it shows, it's like a recycling symbol because you're basically recycling your equipment. And you're going to put five pieces here. Right now it's at zero. So let's start with the ones. Um, we only have one gray, so we're just going to do blues, and we'll see what we get. So it puts us at 31. So when we reassemble it, we get a level 2. So we took level 5 level 1s, and we got a level 2 helmet. That's not bad. Let's try some more. Ah, that one's got two coil slots. Reassemble. Oh, we got a blue machete. Oh, we got a, a hand, hand, handmade machine submachine gun. Um, actually, I'm not going to do these three blues because, um, well, I could do these. So I could do this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Because I don't want to mix it with the blues. Let me make sure none of, my, none of these are. Okay. So let's reassemble this and see what we get. We got a tier two machete, so it, we're just not we're not getting much. So let's try um, uh, tier one gold or rares. It doesn't matter if it's been leveled up or not. Puts us at forty three, and we got uh, a tier two gold, which is nice. Um, so if we put together four tier one golds and a tier one blue. Let's see, it puts us at 41. Let's see if we get a tier two gold. We still got a tier two rare. So that was good. I wouldn't put any more than one in though if I was you. All right, so that gives us some more tier twos. Let's move them up a little bit so I can see where to put them. Oh, these two tier ones, we're not gonna mix those. I'm just gonna leave them. All right, but these I will put up here because they are tier two rares, okay. And then we'll put them here and let's see what we get. We have oops, equipment recycling. Yes. We're going to go back here. We're going to do our five grays or commons and let's see what we get. Remember, these are tier twos. We got a tier two blue superior. That's well, not bad. All right, let's try five of these tier two blues. We got a tier three common handmade shotgun. Eh, it's a tier three at least. Ooh, we got a police shield. That's a good one. A two-handed sword, tier three. 
A tier three rebellion assault rifle. That's a nice one. All right, I'm gonna leave this down here. And these are tier two golds. So let's try these. Because now these are all tier three. And this one's a tier two. So let's try these tier three golds and see what we get. Ooh, uh, another tier three rebellion assault rifle. This one's um, a superior. So it's not as good as this one, but you know, it's not bad. And then let's do this. We're at 61 now. Ooh, we got a pol another police shield. This one is a tier three rare. Um, and it has a plus 10% guard point regeneration, poison reinforcement. Let's see what this one has. Yeah, so that one has a minus 2% guard point. So this one's just a better shield. So that's really good. Um, okay, so this is a tier three rare. I think I'm going to keep that. This is a tier two. I don't want these. So I'm going to try this and see. You, usually at 61, we got 59. Let's see what we get. Ooh, we got some bone armor. So I think bone armor is like super ugly. And it only has two slots, so I won't wear it. But um, let me show you what it looks like on. So this is the leather armor. This is the, well, it's not terrible. But, you know, there are better arms, <laughs> like the leather. Um, so because that leather has four slots, I'm going to keep it. So basically that's combining equipment. You get much better equipment. Now this rebellion assault rifle is way better than I made a little box over here for our stuff to keep it separate is way better. This right here, um, hasn't been upgraded and it's 28.5. The rebellion assault rifle is 48 damage. So we're going to get rid of this and start using this. Um, you'll notice out of my stuff that I got rid of the axe that I had upgraded to one because I have the devastation now. All right. And instead of this shield, which is 40 defense, I'm going to do this, which is 50 defense and look how much more stuff it has. So this is, um, all stats plus five is actually really good, but I like this guard point regeneration, 10%. What's this one? Oh, it's still 10%. Oh, lightning reinforcement. It might not be that much better. I mean, it is 10, you know, plus 10 more to your defense. So parry rate plus 25%. This one's plus 30, minus seven, minus 11. See, these are pretty close. Like, mm, minus five noise, 15 endurance. Parry rate, 30%, only 25%. Parry damage is plus 50. This one's plus 30. I mean, plus 20. So I guess the parry damage right now is plus 20, and this one's plus uh, 50. So I guess we should go with this one. So we will. But a lot of these stats are really good compared to this one. We just happened to get a really nice one of those. So I'm going to bring it down here, and I'm going to put this with our stuff. Um, okay. So because I don't have a lot of stuff to combine right now. I'm just going to put these back in the box. And um, this handmade shotgun's okay. It is a tier three, which is nice, but I don't really use shotguns. We have an extra shield now. I don't care about the two-handed sword. We're getting rid of a wooden shield. And this rebellion assault rifle, because we already have one, um, I will keep one extra. So I'm going to put it in this box of where I'm keeping some extra stuff. So this is my common stuff that I've been keeping all the time in my bag. So we can hit that. And uh, now we no longer have a shield down here because we got rid of our shield. And we no longer have a gun down here because we got rid of our gun. And I forget what was here in seven. We don't need this shield either. So let's go get rid of this. But basically that is combining equipment. Yeah, I don't know what was down there. I'd have to look at the video to see. But anyway, hmm. that's what you can do. And you can get much better equipment and you can get really lucky, especially when you go to other cities and you start getting tier fours and tier fives. And you can, you can always, if you put together five, you get the next tier up, which is a really great thing. So yeah, anyway, especially when you really pay attention to those commons, rares, and superiors. So helpful information i think 
Okay, I have been upgrading everything to have a one on it and I need to upgrade my gun and I wanted to make sure you remember that this is the bench you use for guns because it's at a different bench. So there. What do I need for level two on that? Processed feathers and bird bones. That's another day. Okay. Um, put this back and the tape back. All right, everything now has a one, except for the wrench. Perfect. We have tons of food in our bag. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do need a fish. Ooh, hello, zombie. Hey, that's rude. This is why you should keep your door closed. Whoops, shoot. I jumped, so I didn't have my knife in my hand. Ooh. You know, you got some beautiful red slippers on there. Ruby slippers, I mean. You like Dorothy in another life? Ooh, we have deer. We have deer, we have deer, we have deer. Okay, let's grab them real quick. We don't have pig, but we have deer. And this is a mess, so I gotta clean this up. The first one did not have, and I'm watching the side. And the second one did not have, so no good meat, but that's okay. All right, let's go check on our battery. How are we doing on it? Can't really see it from here. We only have one windmill, so it might not fill it up tonight. Well, we're almost halfway there. We are not at an hour nine. So yeah, we probably should add a couple more windmills to that. I don't know if we have all the stuff we need, but we might have. Okay, I will bring you back. Okay, the last thing I wanna do is make some farms. So, bush farms, tree farms, and the way you get here is when you open up, you come to the, uh, um, nope, I was just there, the benches, and then down here where there's a little barn, and then you'll see them. I want to make at least one of each. How many do I have of the moors? I have seven. Um... Three, two is six, because you need one to make it and then one to fertilize it. So, and I'm gonna need some seeds, I think. All right, do I have enough stuff? I think I do. All right, we'll make one of each. So, I'm just gonna make them over here in this pretty little grass area. So I'm gonna make a farm. And then I'm going to make a bush farm. And then I'm going, oops, I'm going to make a tree farm. All right. Then we need a seed and we need manure for each one. So R to sow it. Same for this one. And same for this one. Now these are all just level one. And this is gonna grow and give me like some basic vegetables. I think like just onions. It's just some of the, the stuff that isn't higher, higher tier. And this will give me bushes that I can um, get resources from. And this one will give me a tree. It's good to make multiples of these, but because I only have, you know, the seven farms right now, that's uh, all I'm gonna be able to do. So I'm gonna clean these up and let me get out here in the light <laughs> and uh, make sure I'm ready for the next, the start of the next part of what we're gonna handle. So I hope you got something interesting out of today and I appreciate being able to share some of my today with you. So thank you for that. And if you have anything you wanna know, please let me know in the comments. And um, because I'm, before I move on to the next area, I wanna make sure that I've answered everybody's questions. And I'm assuming you want me to go to the next area. If you're ready for me to be done with this series because you feel like you've had a good start and that's all you wanted, then I'm great with that too. I don't need to continue this series unless you want me to. So let me know that too, because if you're like, nah, I got it now. I got all the basics, I'm good to go, <laughs> then I'm good. Um, but if you want more, like you wanna see the next area, then I'm happy to do that too. And my original plan was just to end it in this section and kind of ride off into the sunrise. <laughs> 
<laughs> and be done with it. Um, I still have a few more things I want to do here. Don't worry, I'm not leaving just yet. I'm just getting the information of what else you might want to see if you want me to continue or just to be done. So anyway, I hope that this is something that you found useful and I will talk to you next time. Almost forgot. Do something fun for you. <laughs> see ya.